completely obliterate the count. Otherwise, otherwise it's going to come in. And uh, so part of being on the rabbinate is also being a good actor. That's basically what it says, but it's right. <laughs> at least if you want to, if Donald's getting upset at you, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's what you have to do. I mean, it would be best if you had a Tzibur that you didn't get upset at. Yeah, but anyways, okay, so Zogdi Gamar. Yeah, so we're continuing on the Sugya of uh, what's the story with the Tosefes Ksuba, right? So the standard Ksuba for Psula is 200 and an Amon is 100. And if they want to add more, they could add more. Right? But we had said that we had just got finished saying that Rabbi Lozman Azariya says that when if he dies when she's engaged and she only gets 200 and that's it. She doesn't get the Tosefes Ksuba. Right? So we had said, now the reason why the, the, the Tosefes Ksuba goes for marriage-wise, is because since he's happy that she's married to him and, she, and there's a love there from actual marriage, so therefore that, that, uh, that he's willing to pay extra for that. But if they never got married, so he's not willing to pay extra for that. Yeah? Fine. So the Gemara says, Boy, Robin, 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 If a guy came into Chuppah and he didn't have beer, meaning they got married, but they didn't have beer, and then he died. Mao. So then what's it in? Chibas Chupa Kaina. Maybe the love of the Chupa was Kaina, and therefore he would now have to pay the Tesefis Ksuba. The Chibas Bia Kaina. It's only the Chiba of Bia. Right? It's only the Chiba of Bia. And Bia is, they didn't have Bia, so therefore he does not have to pay the Tesefis Ksuba. Or his, or his Yarshim don't have to pay the Tesefis Ksuba. So Toshima, the Tanir of Yosef, Shaloi Kosav La Ela Al Chibas Laila Harisha. That the, so the Brisa says that he didn't write for her only the Chiba of the first night, right? So what's that? What does that mean that he only wrote her the extra of Ksuba because of the love of the first night? If you're going to say that the love of the Chupas Kaina Hanudama Laila Harishan, that's the first night because the first night they're married is, is when they have the Chupas. But if you say that the Chiba Bia is what make, makes her Kaina. And therefore, if they didn't have Bia, he doesn't have to give the extra Ksuba money. Bia Belayla Risha and Isa Mikan Vela Chlesa. There's only Bia on the first night and, and not Bia on the second night. So why are you saying the, the Chibas Laila Harisha? What exactly does that mean? The Ella, so Ella, so what do you see? That it must be that it's the Chib of the Chupa that makes it. So you want to ask, Fela Maya Chupa, Chupa Belayla. Isi so why are you saying, what do you want to say? That it's chuppah, right? That's the good is right. That it must be talking about chuppah, chuppah, belayla, isi b'yom Why is it saying chuppah, al chibas layla harishan? Who says the chuppah has to be at night? Why can't a chuppah be during the day? So what does the price mean? So the Gemara answers, well, tamech, according to you, biya belayla isi b'yom alessa, is only biya at night, and there's no biya during the day? Ha'amar rava, im haya bebais afal mutar. Rava says that, Yes, even though the halacha is that you're not supposed to sleep together during the day, but if it's in a dark house and the, the room is dark, then it's mutter. Right? So you see that bia can be done during, during the day. So the Gemara says, Holy kasha, that's not a kasha. It's, um, it's, it's telling you that normally bia is at night. Yes, you could have bia theoretically during the day, but bia is only at night. So, yeah. yeah. We had a Gemara, I have no idea where, that people are born the same time of the day as their parents had Tashmish. So half the people in the world are born by day. There's no, uh, uh, people aren't born between 10 and 12 at, at night, all the people in the world, you know? Right, that was a Gemara. That was a Gemara, I think it's Shabbos, if I remember correct. Um... Yeah, but that's well. They, the Gemara pins it down to an exact time, or just day or night. Day and night, no. So what are you saying? So you're saying that it's a riot. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not a big deal. Gemara here is a little surprise. You could have beer by day. Like what are you surprised about? I think the Gemara there 
asks. Doesn't the Gemara there ask this? Could be. I, mean, I don't remember. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't know. I thought the Gemara Shabbos Pevov. That's what Masara Sasha says. All right, I'll look it up. You would think that these are the Gemaras I would remember. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the Gemara asks that Kasha and Shabbos. I just don't remember if that's the Gemara there that says um, about being born during the day or not. Either way, so the Gemara says, so it's just teaching you that, it's just saying Derech Eretz, the Biya Bilayla, El Chupa Kasha, but Lemaisa, um, if it's if the Bryce is talking about Chupa, then why does it say the Chupa is at night? Back to the original question. So Gemara says, Chupa nami loy kasha. Chupa is also not a kasha. Keep it the stam chupa lebiya kaim. Since lemaisa, a chupa is for bia. Meaning, what's the difference between the relationship between the couple before with the couple between before the the chupa and after is that they could have bia. So irachara kamashal on the belayla. So the irachara is that since the next step after chupa is bia, so therefore that usually is going on at night. But the bottom line is the Gemara seems to be, doesn't really answer the question. I mean, the Gemara seems to be leaning towards that chuppah is what causes him to have to give the ksuba, um, the, the higher ksuba. So by Rav Ashi, so on the continuation of that Shiloh, so by Rav Ashi, nichmas al chuppah, and there's an interesting machalik as we shine him how to learn this Gemara. The Gemara is kasha. Boy, Rav Ashi. Say, the Gemara has a habamina that people actually like the chuppah, and that's what they would want. Like, they had a choice. They would say, I'd like to just do the whole chuppah ceremony and say who? No, but that's that's the love there. No, it doesn't mean that it's who exclude Bia, but maybe the love that they feel. The love that they feel. That's what I'm saying. Like the people feel that they're going to love the, the, the chuppah and that's it? It's no, like it's a now, separate thing. No, no, but now that they're married, so they're feeling that love. That's where I understand it. Meaning, it's not the shot that they're not gonna, not they're not gonna, not understand, not not have love from Bia. It's just that there's enough love now. Oh, now we're married, Gavaldik. That's so. Therefore, I'm willing like to pay. A oh, that's the next child of Peretz. It's exactly the next child. Very good. Right. So that's a Gemara child. Boy Ravashi, Nichmasol Lachupa Pirsa Nida. So if you read the Pashat reading of this Gemara, what happened is, is they got married, and then she became a Nida. Let's say on the way back from the Chupa. Right? Mahu, then what's the din? If you say that the love of the chup is kaina, so chup is a it would have to be. Maybe that's only for a chup that is roi for bia, which this didn't have. But if it's a chup that's not roi for bia, then not. Or make, maybe makes no difference. A chup is a chup. So Gemara says, take you. Now, the Pasha, the reading of our Gemara, is that she became. From the she had the chupa first, and then she became a nida. Some rishonim say, I think it's the rush, yeah, that says no, that would be pashit, okay, because by the chupa she was mutter. It's the opposite, and how he reads it into Gemara is a whole complicated thing. But he says no, it's somewhere where she was a nida before the chupa, right? But if she was if she was not a nida before the chupa, then then for sure it's going to be okay because lemaisa the chupa was roi for bia, right? So yeah, so that's uh, so that's his way of learning it. Either way, the Gemara ends up with take fine. Right. So, then the Vaid and the Mishnah Rav Yudah said Rav Yudah I'm a Ratzah Kaisel Zula. So Rav Yudah had a shtick. Rav Yudah Rav Yudah had a shtick where you could if a guy doesn't want to give 200, 200 zuz to the Basula, So what he can do is he can say okay here's the two hundred zuz and then she's gonna write that she already accepted a hundred. All right. She's gonna well, she's not gonna write it, but she's gonna she's gonna say she already accepted hundred, therefore he's only gonna be five to give her a hundred. So Gemara's gonna say, Well, does she write this down? The Gemara's issue here is gonna be does she give a receipt? Does she not give a receipt? Because usually with loans, you have to give a receipt. Right? So Gemara asks, the cousin Shaiva, does a Yuda hold that you write a receipt if somebody partially pays back a loan? Do you give him a receipt? Because that's what it sounds like here, because here it says she writes. Yeah, because she wrote it. Mashma that she's giving him a receipt that he paid half. 
or whatever amount he paid. But now we learned in the mission, Misha part of Mixus Didn't we have this before with paying the thing alone with giving the star back and writing something on it? Yes, we had it before. We had it before. Um, but I don't remember where we had it. Masar's shots is Baba Basra, but we didn't learn Baba Basra yet. So we had it with uh, with with giving back the star and someone holding on to the star. Yeah, very good. Yeah, we did or something. I, so I think it must have been somewhere in Yavamas, but I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So for tonight we learned in the Mishnah Misha part of Mikdash Chayva. Let's say somebody pays part of, part of his loan back. What you do is you switch. You switch the original star for a new star. Meaning you don't give a you don't give a receipt, right? You give you make him write a whole new star. Rabbi Yossi, I'm a Yichtev Leishayva. Rabbi Yossi says you write a receipt. So you see that Rabbi Yehuda didn't allow writing receipts. Now, what's the issue here? The issue here, what's like, what's the big deal to write a receipt, right? So the big deal is, is now this guy's got to make sure he always keeps his receipt, because if not, then he can get he can get messed over, right? And meaning, well, who do we want to cause less headache to, to the lender or to the borrower? So that's basically what the Machlokes is telling. And either way, Rabbi Yudah says you don't give a receipt; you write a whole new star. So why? So why is this lady writing a receipt that she she got some of her money, which is not even true? Which we're going to see at the end of the game. It's not even true. She didn't get half the money. She's just pulling a shtick in order to do that, in order to say that, in order to make the the, the amount of the ksuba less. Some of Yirmiya kisha shevar to misaych. What happened is they put the receipt in the in the in the ksuba. They wrote in the Ksuba that it's a 200 Zuz, but she already got 100 Zuz. So they made it part of the Ksuba. That's Revere Mias Teretz. You could say, even if they didn't put the receipt into the Ksuba, it's good over there. What's the problem? What, what is this? What is this supposed to be? What? what? What well, she what wanted to what? let her husband get away with only a hundred dollars. Yes, before. yes, she's a nice girl. Yes, yes. So what, like so what is the big spritz? So write it down. What if the chacham let her do it? So write it down. Like what is the big to do about it? Because we're afraid that that well about the loan or about the ksuba. No, about the ksuba. We're talking about ksuba. I don't care about loans. Right, but no, I'm saying the, the gemara trying to compare it to loans. So the Ksuba was saying, well, if do we if we look at it, that's it's similar to a loan. So now this lady has to always keep the receipt. Or 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 he's gonna meaning I, what you you I mean, wife, what's the worst that's gonna wife, happen? You're saying what's the worst? Everybody here on the Shia their wife has the Ksuba. What? Theoretically, everybody on the Shia, their wife has no knows where her ksuba is. Yeah. You hope so. Right. So right. what is the big deal? What what is the big deal? So no, Hukshub but is, oh, but Hukshub is at a hundred dollars instead of two hundred dollars. What is no? What but if is, you're pulling, if you're pulling a shtick, why are you, you pulling to, shtick? That's what I don't understand. Why? Who are you stick. fooling? Who? Why are you pulling shtick for? For you, what yeah, reason? So, she, she, her, her husband doesn't have a lot of money, so she'll live with a hundred dollar super. So write it in the super. What is the problem? Yeah, so that's that's what Yirmiya says. They wrote it in the Ksuba. Yirmiya said they wrote it. I don't understand what. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. It's about, well, the Gemara is going to, at the end of the Maskana, the Gemara is really going to say, I don't know if it's exactly what you're saying, but the Gemara is going to say that it, the whole thing is a shtick. So why do you need to write it? Which I think sort of what you're saying. But anyway, so let's see, let's get to that. So again, Yirmiya says, yeah, there was no receipt here because they put the receipt into the Ksuba. Abai has a different tariff. Even if there's no, no receipt in there. Over there, he, he actually paid back. The borrower paid back something. Dilma, Mirchas Tevarta. So he's afraid. So Rabbi Yehuda is afraid that the receipt, he's going to lose the receipt. And then the lender, right? The Malva is going to say, hey, you owe me all this money. The other copy, Zimnachrin, is going to collect it again. So that's why he didn't want um, he didn't want a receipt written for that. He wanted a whole new star written. But here, did he did he really give her money? Like you're saying, Rabban, he didn't give her money. 
All he did was say, I let's make up this shtick that I paid you half of it. In notre, notre. So good. So if so give a receipt, and if he keeps the receipt, fine. And he learned not to eat who the officer and our shay. So he lost, meaning he tried to do a shtick right here. By this case with the ksuba, like he said, right? He, he's a shtick man, he didn't pay her half the ksuba, they just decided he suckered her to saying that she that he paid half the ksuba, right? So he's, he's, he's madly in love with him, yeah, correct? Correct, right? Suckers born every day, right? So she so she got sucker real bad. So she said, ah, just put it in the ksuba half. So good, so give him a receipt. What's the worst that's going to happen? If he doesn't have the receipt, she's going to come back to him in a few years when the love wears off and say, hey, you got to give me the whole ksuba. And he's going to say, ah, but I had a receipt, but I lost it. Who cares? He was pulling shtick in the first place. The whole thing wasn't true. So if he gets it, good. If he doesn't get it, no good. So that's why. So that's why Rabbi Huda has no problem with giving a receipt. By, by the ksuba. Again, by the regular loan, he has a problem. Because if you do the receipt, and then the borrower loses the receipts and the lender's going to come back and ask him for all the money now. So like this, if you change the original document to, to say that it's, that it's only half of what it was, so then, then the, that, that won't be a problem. Oh, but the Gemara asked, now Bishlam Abayi, so Abayi didn't like Rabbi Yirmiya's terrets, like Katani Shavar de Mizera, because the Mishnah doesn't say that they put the receipt in the Ksuba. El Rabbi Yirmiya, my time will never But Rabbi Yirmiya, why didn't he say like Abayi's terrets? Which is this this terrace that we just said that what's the loss to him if she produce if she if he loses the receipt he was trying to pull a stick in the first place. So Gemara says the if you're going to allow a receipt to be given by a ksuba, then it, then you might end up allowing a receipt by a loan too. So Gemara asks time at the cost of lay. The reason is because she wrote him a. A, she wrote him, I got half of the ksuba already. I already got half the ksuba money. Mashmur, that if she just said it verbally, then it doesn't work. If she said it, yeah, we'll make it like you paid it back. You paid me half. It's That's not going to work. I'm my davish of a moment who it's considered money, right? The ksuba is a, a, a financial thing. But And we know that Yehuda says that if somebody makes a t'nai, even if it's against the Torah, if he makes a t'nai and a moment is stick a t'nai and he says, oh, the Torah may say A, but I don't mind, and we could do B, then, then that works according to the Bible. If a guy tells a woman, you're married, you're marrying me, you can have no taina on me to sleep with you, to clothe you, or to feed you. This is mamish, our marriages, no? <laughs> Isn't that our marriages? Who's, who's clothing the wife and feeding the wife? The wife is feeding and clothing the guy, right? Okay, but a different issue for a different time. Yeah. So anyway, so he says to her, I'm getting married to you on Manasseh. I don't have to do any of these things. And she agrees. I raise him a Kadesh, but Tanai bottle. She's Mekodesh, but the Tanai is bottle because it's Tanai against the Torah. The Torah says you have, to, you have to sleep with your wife. You have to clothe your wife. You have to feed your wife. That's what a mayor holds. If you die, mayor, this is a, a financial thing, right? The woman's getting married. She has to be supported financially. So it's the financial thing. So financial thing, you could make a tonight, even if it's against the Torah. That's what it would be hold. So why here can't she make a tonight that she accepted the 100, 100 zuz from the husband? So you want to answer? So review the ksuba the Rabbanon. Right? It's a ksuba is the Rabbanon, which is what we pass in, right? The ksuba was made up by the Rabbanon. And the Chachamim made chizik for their words. Yosef Michel Torah. We had this concept a few times. Since the whole financial obligation of a ksuba is a derabanon, so people are usually more lax with derabanons than they are with deraisa. So therefore, the Chachamim needed to make chizik to that, and they said, you know what? You cannot start making verbal agreements with the ksuba. No pulling that type of shtick. Anything that's going to go down has to be written down. Has to be written. Um, any sort of shtick you're doing has to be written. But for other financial matters, uh, 
Rabbi, we're losing you. Chris is talking about. Uh, we, we lost you, Rabbi. Rabbi, uh, we lost you. Yeah, we Hi. lost you. Hi. How are you, Taylor? You're texting up in and out. I texted him. Recording. Oh, am I there? Am I back now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Much better. Switched. Much better. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I don't understand. In the countries. I have no time to figure out the internet. Um. Am I good? You just well, stopped you again, are. but we lost you for a second, but then we got better. Here. What is with the internet in this town? All right. <laughs> we're, very, we're very from. Anyways. Okay, so I'm sorry. So where do we leave off? Hare Paris, the Rabbanim. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I apologize. So the Gemara says, again, so Rabbi Yehuda said that the Chachamim needed chizik for their gzera of Ksuba, so therefore there's no verbal, this, no verbal um, um, tanayim can go on. So the says, Hare Paris the Rabbanon, Velayavdu the Rabbanon, Chizik, Paris is the Rabbanon. Now, Paris here means that when a woman, let's say a woman yarshins fields from her relatives in the marriage, right? So it's not so common that this happens. Uh, this is called uh, Nichsei Milug. Why, why, can't she, it be, why can't it be children? What do you mean? Paris, why can't the Paris be children? Meaning... No, no, it's not talking about Paris in that way. It's talking about where she yarshins a land, so the Chachamim made a takana that the husband is allowed to eat the Paris. The field remains the woman, but the husband can eat the Paris. Right? That's the takana of the Chachamim, that it's an exchange. We had this a couple of, what was it, a week ago, two weeks ago? The Chachamim said in exchange for her, him eating the Paris, so he has to, I forgot which one, there was different options. Um... I don't, I don't remember which what what he has to give back to her in exchange, but the bottom line is he's allowed to eat the Paris. Right? But so but that's a the Rabbanon de Kedin. And Tanan Rabbi Hudaimer, Loilam who Eichel Pere Paris Achi Yirtevla Dinu Dvarim Ainli bin Nachase. He's allowed to eat the Paris of the Paris. Right? Um Achi Yirtevla until he writes for her Dinu Dvarim Ainli bin Nachase, who Perosayan, who Paris Perosayan, Ad Oilam. Right until he actually writes it down, um, he's not gonna. It's not gonna work. What do they teach this in English? Use a frucht. I have no idea what that is. I don't know where that comes from. Anybody ever use that in regular terminology? Use a frucht. I don't know. But anyways, um, but p- bottom line is the husband has rights to get the payers of the field. Right, and let's say he says no, I don't want it. So what about the Paris from the Paris? Is that a like meaning the initial Paris? He says, I don't want it. How about the Paris that come from those Paris? Right? So the so Rabbi Huda is saying that goes to him, even though, even though he he said he doesn't want it. Um and meaning the only way to and the only way according to Rabbi Huda to get rid of the Pere Paris is if he actually makes it tonight. Right, so it's a Durabonon. So so the Gemara says the Kaimalon on top of base now. It's not your star. A star. I'm saying he has to it's set also the Lush yeah, says okay. he has to write, right. He has to make a royal. Well, he's making it tonight, but it's written the Kaimalon, and we learned on top of base now, my Kaisiv. When it says Kaisiv, it means Aimer. Right? Which okay, I don't know why. Every time it says Kaisiv, it says it means Aimer. Rabar, how's that one? For, so why are you writing Kaisiv? Okay, shine. So my kaisev, oimer. Kaisev means oimer. So you see that it's a derabonon, and he did not require chizik 
He didn't require it to be written, even though it says he required it to be written, but it means he said to say. It's Shakespeare, for Bessit and for Gresset and for Bessit. They wanted to, whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So anyway, so that's what we're saying. So it means Rabbi Huda says you can, you don't have to write it. You can do it verbal, even though it's in the Rabbanon, so you didn't need chizik for that. So I'm Rabbi, l'chol yesh ksuba. Everybody has a ksuba. In order to get married, you have to have a ksuba. So since it's in the hands of everybody, so mamela, you're not allowed to be making tonight. But loy l'chol yesh peris, but not everybody gets peris. As a matter of fact, it's milsa de shricha of the rabbanim chizik, milsa de le shricha loy of the rabbanim. As a matter of fact, it's actually not common. Aksuba is shriya. So since people are back and forth with the ksuba, and they, there's always negotiations, so we have to make sure the negotiations stay proper because the whole ksuba is the rabbanim. But everybody has some form of negotiation about the ksuba, right? But but the fruit, Paris, most people do not yarsh, and most women do not yarsh in fields that the husband can eat the pears, can eat the pears. So since it's not common, the Chachamim did not require something to be written if he wants to make some sort of uh, agreement and not do what the Torah says, or the, what the Rabbanon said. Okay, so Gemara says, Hare Chamorim, this case we had for sure before. Hare Chamorim, um, what do you call it, drivers? Uh, how do you say it? Teamsters. And, uh, well, they had, these guys are teamsters. Uh, donkey drivers. Donkey drivers, right? But the, the literal type is donkey drivers, but these guys are scammers, right? Hare chamorim, the shrichi, they're common because uh, there's always these chamorim, these uh, traveling uh, guys that are on donkeys, traveling salesmen. The law of the Rabban and Chizik, and the Rabban didn't do Chizik with them. The Tanan, a chamorim, if you have these, these, these donkey drivers that came into the city, meaning they're selling, they're selling products. Bomer, Echemehen, Shali Chadash. Mine is new, which which for grain is not a good thing. You want older grain. The shalchaveira yashon, and my friends is old and good stuff. Sheli ainem b'sukin. Mine is not fixed, meaning it does not have chumas and maizes taken off of. The shalchaveira b'sukin, but my friend did did um, did it. So, meaning you should think the guy's pushing all the business to his friend. He should be believed. He's pushing the business to his friend. Right, he sh he should really want to push the business to himself, but he's saying his friend is better. Ain't them on him, they're not believed. Why not? Because we believe that these guys are scammers. In in city A, this guy is saying, "Yeah, go buy from my friend. He's got much better stuff." And in city B, A as a city B, the other guy, um, you know, gives back to him, and and he and he says that uh, the other fellow has the better stuff. That's the kind of the Tanakam is worried about this. Rabbi Yehuda, I mean, Rabbi Yehuda says, "No, them on him, they are believed." Right now, this is the Rabbanon because we're worried about the Mai, right? And um, it's a common thing. And it's a common thing. This is a common fruits and vegetables, whatever or grain, is a common thing. And it's a, we're we're really only worried about the Mai because Amaratim are believed on Truma, and we're just worried about that they didn't take off Maisa. So why is Rabbi Huda believing them? They should make have to make chizuk to their words. So Rabbiya, no. Another thing, Vadai did the Rehim of the Rabban Chizik. If it's a Vadai, like a Ksuba, where everybody needed to have a Ksuba, so then the Rabban did Chizik. Suffolk did the Rehim, Loy of the Rabban Chizik. But something that's just a suffix, which Demai is, Demai is a suffix, so then that the Chacham didn't make Chizik. And Rav Omar, but Demai Hekilu, Rav Abbas is a little bit different. Rav Abbas says, no, they were Makal with Demai. Meaning, meaning the Nafkamina is that according to, the, to Rav Abbas, they would make a, they would make a takana on even on a suffix, but by demai, that's even more mego. Um, because Roiv Amaratim Rashi says, do take off mice, which is quite an interesting takana of demai. If Roiv take it off, so what are we worried about? Okay, but the Chacham decided to be worried. So since they were worried about it, but since the majority keep it, so therefore we are, we're not, we don't have to uh, make it's it. It's true, more, it's true, man, and mice. Just Misa, just Misa. They keep just Truma. Misa. Just Misa. Truma, they do. Yeah. So, anyway, well, the problem so, with the Misa is the Truma's Misa in it. Correct. So you always have you have to give up the Truma from the Misa. Well, that was yesterday's. That was we had in yesterday's Gemara. That the Truma's Misa, right? That wasn't taken over. There was a Hashash that wasn't taken off. Yeah. Okay. So that's so that's that. Now, if anybody's interested in this Tysus, this long Tysus, it's really for uh, Gershon. All the different things how to make how to make a proper tonight, 
right? There has to be a tonight kofel, not a tonight kofel. All that's that's all in this big big tosis. Yeah, so, I'm sure so anybody could log in after the daf. Gershon is going to give a. Uh... Gershon is going to give a shir on the tosis. Rabbi, yeah. I can't believe you don't have notes on this gemara about the joke. But it's the two people. I didn't uh, want to say it. I said it this morning by Shmuel. Yankel is a zogenus vincent shafin gelt. I said it this morning. What? Which joke? Which joke? <laughs> the two guys by the Vatican. One is wearing a big cross, and the other one is the yarmulke, and they're both collecting money. And the guy with the yarmulke has nothing in his bowl, and the other guy has a huge thing of money. And the guy walks by and goes, "What are you crazy? You wearing a yarmulke? This is not the place." And he says, look who's telling the Goldstein brothers how to collect money. <laughs> That's this Gamora. No, you don't trust the two of them. You, you know. Exactly. Exactly. It's this Gamora. Yeah. I, I thank you, parents. I said it this morning. Yeah. Uh, very good. <laughs> okay. So, Ramey, did you write it in your Gamora? That's the question. Is it in your heart? That's what I was asking. It's not in the Gamora. Okay. Fine. Ramey, I'll put it in now. Thank you. <laughs> Well, there are some things that are obvious. You don't need to write it down. You're gonna remember. <laughs> yeah, but future generations need to need the horror. I didn't know the horror. He bundled. He bundled. Even Rashi writes down things sometimes that are partial. He bundled. <laughs> <you know. laughs> so yeah, fine. Rameyer, I'm a kolapay. So Rameyer, he was fire against doing any sort of shtick. He said anybody who subtracts from the ksuba, then the b is a b as nus, right? Oh, so the Gemara says, um, any, anything that makes uh, anything makes less, I feel a bit not, even if he makes it tonight. Meaning, let's say the couple, let's say the, cu the couple makes it tonight together, this shtick. So Rameyer says, it doesn't work. You know, they come to Rameyer's best and they say, we did this shtick, we're in such love, we don't want to have 200 zoos, we're going to do 100 zoos, we do the shtick. Rameyer says, it doesn't work. Even by the fact that they make the tonight, Right? Even by the fact that they make the tonight is is going to make the bee into a bias nus. Why? Meaning because if he's just saying that the tonight doesn't work, so what, what's the chiddush? Just say the tonight doesn't work. So Elamai must be that even if the tonight doesn't work, which Rameir holds it doesn't work, still the, the, the bias bias nus because they tried to pull shtick. Alma Kasava tonight bottle, the isla. So we see that the tonight is bottle. And she still gets the full ksuba. The kivan the amr law, less like elamana. And since he told her you're only getting a hundred, like some chadaita, she was not some chadas. nos. And the bia is a bias nos, right? So that's the chiddush the gemara saying that according to the mayor, even the tonight, even though they made this tonight and it doesn't work, it's still a bias nos. So gemara asks, v'ashamina leil the mayor the amr kol amas la mashu kazu b'tayr tonight bottle. We said that the Tanai is bottle. Haba de Rabbanon, Tanai Kayim, but by a de Rabbanon, a Tanai is Kayim, and a Ksuba, like we just learned, is a de Rabbanon. So why doesn't it work? So Ksuba Rameir, Ksuba de Raisa. So Rameir holds that a Ksuba is not a de Rabbanon. Rameir holds a Ksuba de Raisa. So they were there, their Tanai that they're making on the de Raisa doesn't work. Fine. So then the Gemara says, so in our mission, we had two, we had two sheets. So Rameir said, you can't make any Tanaim at all. Where Rabbi Yehudu said you could do this shtick where she says, I was already paid part of the ksuba. The Gemara is going to bring a third sheet there now. Tani Rameir Raimer, Kola Paitas Lipsulam, Mimasayim, Ulaman, Amana, Harezu Bilas Nus, it's a Bilas Nus. Rabbi Yasi Raimer, Rishai. Rabbi Yasi says, It's mutter, you could do this shtick, no problem. Right? And Rabbi Yudha Raimer, Ratsa Kaisu Lipsulam, Star Shu Masayim, Vika Sevesle, his Kabalti Mimcha Mana, Ulaman, Amana, Vika Sevesle, his Kabalti Mimcha Hamishim Zuz. Right, so that's uh, again, that's that's a repeat of the mission. So the only the only chiddush in this last few lines of Gemara is that Rabbi Yaisi holds it's mutal lechatchila, and they don't even have to do uh, this shtick. You can just lower the price of the ksuba. So the Gemara asks, the server of Yaisi Rasha, does Rabbi Yaisi hold that you're allowed to just knock off the ksuba? Let's say he, the the couple decides only a hundred, or they only decide one zuz instead of two hundred. Does Rabbi Yaisi really hold that that's allowed? You're not allowed to use for ksubas isha metatalin, meaning you can't say in the ksuba that I'm giving you a watch. If they if on if there's a divorce or if the man dies, he's giving this watch to his wife. Not allowed. Why? 
because of Tikkun Olam. Why? Because like Rashi says, maybe he's going to lose the watch. Now what? Now she's left with no ksuba. Right? Or maybe the worth the watch is going to go down. Um, the price of the watch is going to go down, which from what I understand over the last few months, the prices of watches taka have tanked. Right? So I'm Rabbi Yaisi. What kind of tikkun oilam do you have here? It's there's no set of price on the tautalin. You can get it evaluated here, there, and there's no there's no way to know. Well, person and the price can go down. Now it seems like Rabbi Yaisi and the Tanakam are saying the same thing that you cannot use the tautalin. So what it says, Tanakam and Amiye and Eisen Kama. The Tanakam also said you can't do it. So what's Rabbi Yaisi disagreeing? This is what the Gemara is saying. When did we say um, that you're not allowed to have metal to lend, let's say, a watch for the Ksuba? That's if the, the husband doesn't accept a chryas, that that if it gets lost or stolen, he's going to be responsible. But if he's makabal achrayas, and if it gets lost or stolen, he's going to replace it, then you can use it as a Ksuba. That's what the Tanakhama holds. Right? Um, that's what the Tanakhama holds. Why, if he's on Achrayas, meaning even if he's Makabal Achrayas, why should we let him do the Ksuba like that? And it's not a set price. And it goes down. Meaning, we want the woman to have Yishuv Adas. She's going to be taken care of. Her husband divorces her or her husband dies. So now he says he's going to give her a watch worth 20 grand. That's very nice. But in, in 10 years from now, when he decides to divorce her, the watch could be worth nothing. Right? So there's no Yishuv Adas. So now Gemara says, Hashtu Mahasim to Dilma Pachsi. There, Rabbi Yaisi says it doesn't work because perhaps it's going to go down. Chayesh Rabbi Yaisi, Rabbi Yaisi is Chayshed. And therefore he says, Aksub is no good. Hacha Devadeh Kapachsi. Here, if Vade went down because she agreed to Aksuba for less than the standard amount. So here it for sure went down. Like Kol Shikain, shouldn't it be a Kavachimer that Rabbi Yaisi should say it's possible? How come Rabbi Yaisi says you can knock off the Ksuba and make it lower, but by a watch he doesn't allow because the watch price might go down? It should be mo- much worse here. He's going to answer, no. There, she doesn't know that uh, that it's going to go down and that she should be Meichelit. She doesn't, she knows, she knows. The guy says, oh, I'm going to give you a big fancy watch. What does she know that maybe the watch price is going to go down? Right? So she may be falsely led to believe that she's being taken care of. But here, she knows, and she's Michael. They tell her, you're only going to get 100, or you're only going to get 50, whatever you agree to. Are you masking to that? And she's, she agrees. So therefore, since she agreed... Rabbi Yossi holds that works. Again, Rabbi Yossi says to use metaltalin where she's not going to have any idea what's going on. So then that we can't, we can't allow that to happen. But, um, but, uh, but where she agrees to take a smaller amount, that of course we're going to allow. Yeah. Okay. We'll stop here. Apologize for the, uh, for the breakups again. I thought I'm in the city. I'll be done with that, but I guess not. Uh, fine. Uh, Rabbi Stein, question for you. Um, yeah. Nothing to do with this, but today there was a big mace mitzvah by the White Shul. So the question is, they did the Levi in the parking lot. And someone had told me that there was a kind that was in the parking lot. He just was stayed in his car. Did yeah, he even have to go that far, being that it's a parking lot? It's not a normal place for a mace? No, he could stand off to the side. He can stand off to the side. No problem. As long as he's not under a tree. No, the white shell parking lot. He was, uh... Yeah, okay. that, that's fine. Yeah. Anyways, all right. I got to run now, stock up this house a little bit. Shopping. If anybody needs seems, anything, let me know. It seems like the renters ate your svar. 